Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari, Atiku, Iburi, Jonathan, pay tributes to Yaradua. Salute his sincerity. Wow, guys. Uh, Buhari, Atiku, Iburi. You know that combination, right? Good luck, Jonathan. They are paying tributes today, wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good to have you here. Uh, we just want to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Thanks very much for coming out here. Let's go straight to the news. President Muhammad Buhari, former president, former vice president Atiku Abubakar, Chief James Ibori, former governor of Delta State, and former president Goodluck Jonathan have extolled the virtues of the late former president Umaru Musa Yaradua, who also served as governor of Castina State for eight years, saluting his honesty and sincerity service to the country. Malam Garuba Shehu, the president's special assistant on media and publicity, in a statement in Abuja on Tuesday, said, President Buhari made his feelings known as Nigerians observed the 10th anniversary of the death of the former president. President said, despite our political differences, President Maru Ma Musa Yaradua was on timely a patriotic Nigerian because of his passion for the masses and his reverence for politics, his politeness and belief were nothing to second. Every leader should be given the credit that he deserves, whether you agree with President Omaru Musa Yaradua politically or not. I must say that history will always record his honest, you know, his honesty and sincere service to the country, Nigeria. As we remember President Omaru Musa Yaradua today, let us emanate his patience and gentle nature. So we don't introduce toxic city into our politics, whether opposite or on the same side, we are not enemies. At the end of the day, it's all politics. Similarly, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar on Tuesday said, Nigerians would not forget the undisputable achievement of the late former president Umaru Musa Yaradua short-lived administration. Musa stated this in a tribune. Atiku stated this in a tribune to Musa issued by his media ad advisor Paul Ibe to mark the 10th anniversary of the passing away of the former president. According to Abubakar, the legacy of the late Yaradua continue to have a great impact on Nigerians. As each year passes by, we are constantly reminded of his outstanding leadership skills and decision-making agreements. Umaru Yaradua was a man that was never shy of reaching out to people irrespective of political affluence whenever it comes down to finding solutions to addressing issues that prevalence us as a nation. To him, it was a country first before political, religion, or ethnic consideration. Monate Buhari, that one. Make it hear, make it learn from somebody, if not true anyway. His belief in the oneness of Nigeria contribution to the vast and passion we see him display in bringing a heart and to the hostility and differences in the country in his time he worked to see nigeria as one that singular act remains a milestone that will forever be remind, remembered in the annuality of nigerian politics and economic life abubakar said that with the creation of the niger delta ministry of the amnesty program we later heard that maru yaradua ushered in a new area of 
era of peace and stability in the Niger Delta region and by expansion the whole country. He said that the amnesty program's success story was one that could not be compromised, explain it just a few paragraphs. I'm going to do something about Boko Haram now so that we'll leave a legacy. Abi, Boko Haram did never do anything. But now if you do amnesty for Niger data, rubbish. The former vice president recalled the late ex-president accomplishment in the area of pro masses politics. The reduction of price pop where due to the price reduction in the crude oil market was notable. His far-reaching politics that imparted positively on the lives of the low-income families is words of emanation. Abubakar, however, noted with strong regards to Umar Maru Musa Yaradua inability to push and reach one of his signatory politics, the Vision 2020, which he wanted to really accomplish. He said the policy, the policy was dear to the late president and inspired confidence and hope in many. Of note, among his achievements was a henceforth to the rule of law, which he, his administration was nicknamed for. Yaradua, no nonsense status of the issue of law, and indeed gave the nation and her inhabitants the feeling that everyone, everybody is equal in the eyes of the law. The law, the rule of law, is the lifeblood of the democratical system. Abu Bakr prayed to God Almighty to continue to grant his gentle soul and forgive his shortcoming. Chief James Iburi, former governor of Delta State, said the late Yaradua will always be remembered as an agent of peace. We remember you today as an agent of change. You const you constituted a government of national unity. You gave the opportunity of sense of belonging and the latitude of veterans. Buhari said this in a statement, I personally cherish you. You cherish the independence and constitutional gratitude and other arms of the government. You were wholeheartedly committed to electoral reform. You were established in the exercise of power and knowledge that it flows from the electorate and must be used remarkably. You granted amnesty to the ministry in the Niger Delta region. You strengthened our hands to notable peace. We will forever remember you in the Niger Delta. Former President, good luck, Jonathan said, Umaru Musa Yaradua was a president like no other who lived and died for the sake of the country. He stood on the side of the people toiling day and night to make lives better. I served with him and I knew him personally. He was a man of few words but very honest and one to work with. I re remember you today as a great man, a great president. President Umaru Yaradua built strong bridges of hope, love and understanding for which we must become a force of nation and national unity and positive change across our blessed land. We will miss you always. Wow. Great tributes. You heard the following people have sent tributes to the person of Umaru Musa Yaradua. In case you, know, you can't remember, he died exactly 10 years ago today. Umaru Musa Yaradua was one of Nigerian presidents that died as a president while ruling the country. He was ill and um, although during the time of campaign, Nigerians was noticing that this guy was ill and they kept telling the Deno Basanjo who was, you know, uh, flagging the flag and pushing forward for Maru Yaradua to fly the flag for PDP. That the guy was not strong, I mean, health-wise, that the guy looked need to look after himself. But PDP insisted that the guy was well, he was hale and hearty, and does not need anyone to, you know, does not need any form of uh, assistance here and there. He became president before you knew it. Before we say Jack Robinson, the guy was gone. That was what gave rise to the pressing of good luck, Jonathan, to come forth to become Nigerian's president. And that's how Jonathan... Good luck, Jonathan came, and after his first tenor, uh, APC cleared him off, and um, that's where we are today. Long and short, that's where we are today. Nigerians, uh, today marks it 10 years, Umaru Musa Yaradua is gone. Uh, what will you be remembered for? 
Uh, what do you remember him for today? I want to say a big thank you to all of you who are coming out here to listen and to encourage us. I want to say a big thank you. My people, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe, to click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Thank you very much for coming out here. God bless you. Have a lovely and a wonderful day. Please don't forget to maintain social distancing. Look after yourself. Stay safe. Now the watchword for today. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.